With asthma, food allergies, and a heart condition, 44-year-old Thomas Silvera says he does everything he can to protect his health, including getting vaccines. He says if a vaccine for COVID-19 becomes available, he'll get that too. I will kind of be leaning towards that of getting the vaccination. But he says he knows many in his community may be hesitant, especially to participate in clinical trials before a vaccine is approved. The trust issue is the biggest factor there. That's a key challenge as phase three efficacy trials get underway of the vaccines in the U.S. COVID-19 disproportionately affects communities of color. As we start recruiting for phase three, we really need to be incredibly mindful of reaching out to those communities who are hardest hit to ensure that we are getting individuals who are at heightened risk. The COVID-19 Prevention Network, formed by the National Institutes of Health, is prioritizing communities hardest hit by the disease. Essential workers, the elderly, people with other health conditions, and Native American, Latinx, and Black and African American communities. Experts say it requires building trust. This is part of a broader issue of medical mistrust, which is entirely justified as if you go you know, way back, um, J. Marion Sims and his, you know, obstetric trauma and, and, and terrible abuse of, of slave patients to Henrietta Lacks to the Tuskegee trials, but, but there, are, there are others. Um, what happens is this is in the lore. And the early COVID-19 vaccine trials did not include many people of color. 40 of 45 participants in the NIH Moderna phase one trial were white, while Oxford University, which is partnered with AstraZeneca, noted a limitation of its initial study is that a majority of its participants were white as well. The companies and researchers say diversity in the much larger efficacy trials is a key priority. If we're going to make a vaccine that works for all of us, we need to be able to make sure that all of those key populations are included. Doctors leading the trials have this in mind as well. We are uh, going to be reaching out to uh, African-American churches and try and enroll in church populations. We're also going to be targeting uh, warehouses and factories, meat p packing plants and places where there have been large outbreaks and uh, where we're more likely to encounter people who are at greater risk. Inclusion, experts say, starts with health providers. The number one reason black people and brown people don't participate in clinical trials is because nobody asks them, and that is a provider issue. If nobody's in actively including them, they will miss out on something that could be life-saving. Meg Terrell, CNBC Business News.